Davison here. I am a design team member with the Scrap Shots team and I'm here today to do an unboxing video of the November kit. Um, Scrap Shots, in addition to being an online store here in Canada, Calgary, Alberta, in fact, um, they also offer a kit subscription where every month you get a package of amazing goodies in your mailbox to um, document your memories and your stories. And this is the November kit. It is largely based on the Simple Stories Winter Farmhouse collection. Um, and I want to walk you through what I got here. It is likely that Sandy at Scrap Shot slipped a few extra items into my kit, which I absolutely love. She knows that I just kill the kit by the end of the month and want to use all the things. Um, so I'll be sure to link below directly to the kit so you can see what's in it. I think the only extras are one of these and one of these, but we'll we'll figure that out in the links below. Um, and walk you through this and see what you might be making this winter. Um, or in this case, this would be good for December daily or whatever. So here we go. I haven't actually flipped through, so this is going to be really exciting for me as well. So here we go. So first up is uh, Simple Stories washi tape. And I do know that if you are interested in your kit to get all the washi tapes that come with the matching collection, that you can just do that as an add-on. So this one is really nice. I love the flowers on there and that burgundy color is just so rich. Really like that. Also included is this little paper clippy guy. Um, I can see on the Scrap Shots web shot that, the website that I think each of us would get one of these, probably one of a, a variety that come with the package. Super, super cute. Wouldn't that be great for the front of a December daily with your date or whatever? Super cute. All right, you also get a portion of the enamel dots. Again, you can get the full enamel dots package if you um, do an add-on. And anytime you do an add-on, it will actually be sent as long as it doesn't exceed the size of the box that it needs to come in with your actual kit itself. So you save on shipping, which is kind of cool. So loving the colors in this collection here. You can see the reds, the greens. I love that teal. And that's like a mustard brown almost, but a bit of a touch of gold in there. And then the gray, which is really great. Super cute. I'm gonna put these little guys to the side and we'll do them after. Also included here is a chipboard. This is great. So this again is the Simple Stories Winter Farmhouse. And you can see, I love these mittens, which has the floral, I heart cocoa. Baby, it's cold outside. Really cute, love it very much. Gonna be perfect for those cold days um, here in Canada, that's for sure. Um, good. All right. And this is the honey and spice stickers. This is black foil chipboard stickers. So these are definitely cardboard, which is awesome. They are not very thick, which I like as well, especially if you plan on doing a mini album that sort of gets, they get quite, quite thick in there if you're using the big thickers and they've got both sides and it includes numbers, which is awesome. Those are super cute. Love those. Hopefully there's not too much glare. You guys with this light. I live in Vancouver and it's like our, the middle of our six months of rainy season. Um, so there's a lot of lighting on in my house to make this so you can actually see it. So there are th uh, some cardstock papers included with the kit. Um, and this is also from the Simple Stories Winter Farmhouse Collection. And there's juniper dots, mustard dots, and storm dots. So this is the storm dots. You can see one side has no dots and the other side has dots. So that's kind of nice. I like that. I do like a bit of texture on my card chalk, so that kind of gives that illusion. And that there's the mustard dots, and then the dots, and then there's that beautiful, rich juniper color. Oh, love that color. So rich. Good. Then also included is the Toba Top collection kit. So bear with me. I'm just going to open this bad boy up. Oh, exciting! Get rid of that guy. Okay. And as a reminder, if you're like me, I actually use these pieces. <laughs> so, and these also cut out really nicely for the two by two squares in a mini album, just saying. Um, so there is that, and we'll just run through the papers. So here is, this one is called Winter Farmhouse, and this is the front, and there's a little bit of detailing there in the front, and then that gorgeous plaid on the back. So this is the Hello Winter paper. And here is the Warm and Cozy paper. So if you can see in there, it is based on, a, there's a wood grain in the background. This would be great for fussy cutting or using as is, and oh, that's great. That's the same floral motif that's in that washi tape, but on that mustard background. So love it, love it, love it. I love mustard. This one is called Frosty Mornings, cute. Also good for fussy cutting and on that juniper color. Oh, but look at that, that is so cute. Oh, I love how playful that is with the cartoon trees in that teal color. That's cute. 
that would go really well with the mittens and stuff. And here is the Cuddle Up. Love that. And that's a cream base, not a white base, as is pretty classic for simple stories. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I see quite a similarity in some of the patterns and they just changed up the colors. That's really nice for matching. This one's called Feeling Frosty. And again, those are cream colored snowflakes, so I love that. And a gorgeous wood grain. Gorgeous. Wow, that's really nice. Oh, look at that one. Falling Snow, this one is called. So it's based on a wood grain and the repeated um, fir tree pattern. And then there's a great dot on the back. And this one, yeah, like I said, sorry, it's called Falling Snow. I think I mentioned that. And that is not a black. That is like a gray-brown. So just not sure if it comes through on the video very well. And this is called Winter Days. Isn't that cute? So those are mason jar snow globes from a close-up perspective. Love it. Oh, and then another great plaid on there. Love that. And this one is called Snowed In. Oh, had some of those days in my life. Cute. And another awesome plaid there. Plaids are just so cozy in winter, aren't they? Oh, here's a two by two elements. This is a cut apart. Uh, well, I mean, you could cut it apart. Generally, I think that's what people do, but this would also be fun not. And I do love in a mini album using the two by two um, page protectors because then these are so, so cute. Add a little embellishment and done. And the back side there is um, snowflakes. I'm sorry, that one is, yeah, that one's called two by two elements. This one is called three by four elements. And there's that a larger version of that mason jar snow globe. Cute. And then there is that oh gorgeous burgundy floral, which matches the the washi tape, which it's just so vibrant. Love that. And this is the four by four elements. Wow, there's a lot of paper in these kits. Check that out. And then the back side of this is wreaths. Oh cute. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love that one. Nice. And then here is the four by six elements. If I can pick it up. I think that's meant to be, you can see the door there, little boots, cute. And then, oh, that's fabulous. That's a true Christmas plaid, all the right colors. Love that, that's very cute. So that is the paper that comes with the collection. And then there is also a sticker sheet and that is this one here. So what I love about the Simple Story stuff, if you buy the chipboards and the stickers, is lots complement each other. Like there was another boot that was in the chipboard, so that would look really cool to layer those up um, to, like, and just offset them to get a, a bit of a, a design element there. Some Something that comes off the page a little bit. So, so cute. Love this little bucket. I think I saw that on a journal card. That would be another layer up opportunity. These little trees and houses are to die for. I cannot wait to use those. And then lots of good phrase stickers. Love, love that. The tabs also love that. And then there's always a good border at the bottom from these guys. So when I see quite a few little tiny elements, not too small, but small enough that you can um, scatter throughout the page to also kind of fill in those little empty holes, if you will, that tend to come up in the design. So that is the paper and the stickers. I'll move that aside because then we can talk about these guys here. So this is actually Echo Park enamel shapes and these are of a perfect winter, a perfect winter. Sorry, I was having a hard time reading that font for some reason. I'm just gonna pull these out because I think, um, I'm gonna try and pull them out. I think there might be a bit of glare there. If not, well, they look cooler anyway. So there they are, so those are great. So those are clear and those do like if look really great with, and I'll put them on. That's pretty dark though, here we go. You can see there that they are clear, probably see them a little bit better. And I love this little moose with his little cap on. So those are great and all the same colors, that kind of mustardy wood color, that burgundy as well as that teal is in there. So I think those are gonna go really, really well. That's a great pairing. Awesome, okay. And I showed you the chipboard. Oh yeah, here is the, these are the bits and pieces. I do know one of these die cuts sets does come with the kit. I'm going to assume it is this one. I'll just scatter a few here to show you. And then I will just show you the back side as well. So you can really see what's in there. Where am I going? There I am. And you can see what's in there. Super cute. These are really lovely. Um, just classic kind of die cuts. Look at that sweater. <laughs> come on, fireplace. Sorry, Zoe. Oh goodness, you could just set up like a whole like home 
kind of background page. Create yourself like a background that looked like a home and then just uh, put your photos and stuff on top as if it was a pattern paper. Maybe a little gesso. I love this bench. That is too cute. Oh, and the truck. Seriously, I actually have some photos where my dad and my uncle went out with the little ones and cut down their own Christmas tree. And I think that one might finally find its home in a scrapbook with that guy there. The thing I also got included in my kit as well is the same collection, so the Winter Farmhouse Simple Stories, but it's the journal bits and pizzas. And there's there was there's 57 in this one, and there's actually 54 in here. So you get a lot in these little packages. They really, well, pack a punch. So I will take these guys out. Maybe I'll do that. Don't mix them up too much. And I'll also show you what's in there a little closer. So I love having both of these, I will be honest with you, for journal spots, um, but like things like this just make me so, so, so happy. And then any word phrase you wanna give me, I am in. I will use, there is never enough word phrases in these kits, even though they pile them in and I love that. I would use them everywhere. I love tabs for dates. I use a simple date stamp that I bought at like Staples, like an office supply store. That fits perfectly in here. I think I have it right here. <laughs> One of these little guys. And it's like the perfect width. So oh, simple stories, just they, they know how to do it. I love this. So there's lots of little sayings in here. Oh, those signs, that's cute. Burr, um, little journal spots. Really, really cute. So lots of little things to tuck and layer um, and find. You know, fill in those little holes and just add those little pieces of dimension there that um, are so fun to add when you're finalizing a layout. So that is that, that is the kit. Absolutely love it. Again, loads of paper. Um, we've got um, the ephemera from the, the collection, the Winter Farmhouse. We've got the full paper pad, plus the sticker sheet, which is just absolutely fabulous. You've got some thickers in there. You've got your chipboard. You've got half washi, or sorry, it's one of the washies, half enamel dots, again, Lay um, add-ons are available so when you go in to get your kit do check out the add-ons she's got it organized quite nicely there on their new website and this is what you would be playing with this month super excited I think I'm gonna dive into the archives um, of some of my winter photos when we were a little bit younger that haven't met a scrapbook yet and I think these will be perfect for it my family my dad makes a homemade skating rink on our farm every year and a track so we can get on the the sled behind this the quad um so there's lots of photos that i think are just going to be great with this with kids all bundled up um and i think that the hot cocoa that we serve at the fire beside the ice rink will just like so many opportunities here so i'm really really excited so that is me that is the november kit from scrap shot so be loads of links below for you to check out the kit as well as the add-ons um, and then of course sharing what we make with this is the design team on the scrap shots blog and our Facebook and um, Instagram. And then of course my own blog at Scrap Story and as well as my social media at Brandy Davison. I hope you have a wonderful November and that you're keeping warm. Thanks, bye.